Hi, I'm Jessica from TTP Laser, and if you're watching this, congratulations, that means your new laser has arrived and you're ready to set it up. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is unpackage your laser and familiarize yourself with all of the accessories. The most important of these is going to be your laser tube, which you will find inside the working area. You're going to want to remove it from the side panel over here. And just remember, this is your most important component. You want to handle it like a newborn baby. You're going to find the rest of your accessories underneath. You can access it through these front doors. There are also side and back doors to access it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything out and go over everything that your laser comes with. Here we have everything unpacked. We're going to go through each item and identify it. First, we have our chiller, your optional rotary, chuck or wheels, the tube side door, the drawer for the funnel table, which will only come with your stingray, not your sunray. You have optional legs to put on instead of having wheels. We have your AC Infinity exhaust fan, your standard air pump, and your toolbox. Everything you're gonna need to hook up your accessories you will find in the toolbox. On the top, you have your USB stick that has your software in it. Inside, you are going to find two water lines that hooks up your chiller to your laser, your signal cable that goes from the chiller to the laser, two power cords, one to power the laser, one to power the chiller, your air hose to hook up your air pump to your laser, your USB cable to hook up your computer or laptop to the laser, and your Allen wrenches to get the job done. Moving on to tube installation. Let's go over this and identify all the different parts. So first we're gonna remove this red cap, but I cannot stress enough that this is not garbage. You're gonna to need to reinstall it after. So first here we have the positive electrode. Then underneath you have your water inlet. Moving over to the other side, you're going to find the negative electrode and your water outlet over here. Nicely marked for you. So let's open this up. Okay, so let's find your positive wire connection, your water inlet tube, your negative connection, and your water outlet tube. These here are the saddles that are gonna hold your tube in place. After finding your correct Allen wrench, you're gonna to need to loosen the screws on the top half of the saddles. For video's sake, we've already done that, so I'm just gonna take them off and place them aside. And ever so gently, take your tube and place it into the bottom half of the saddles. Okay, coming over here, you're gonna to need to attach your live wire in this direction so that you can slide the red cap back over, no problem. For the sun ray, you may have to slide the tube out the door, attach your live wire, and then slide it back in. Don't forget to attach your water inlet. Then over here, we have the negative. I'm going to attach it there and attaching your water outlet. Now that we have the laser tube connected, you're going to want to put your red cap back on. Please do not ever run your machine without this cap secure. Check your water hose to make sure there are no kinks. Coming to the middle, you're going to gently raise and move your tube about a half inch from the combination red dot pointer. Then you need to turn it up so that the water outlet is going to be at the top in the center to release any bubbles that you might have. So gentle. Okay, 
with that, place the top half of the saddles back on, and the tube is ready to go. Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of your laser setup and installation. I'm Jessica from TTP Laser. Today we are going to finish setting up your accessories and the final touches of your laser machine. All right, so first we're gonna start with setting up your chiller. You have your two tubes. One is gonna connect on the inlet on your chiller. That goes to water outlet on the back of your laser. And then the opposite, the water outlet on the chiller goes to water inlet on the back of the laser. Then you have your alarm output cable. It will have a black cap on it. You don't need to twist it off. You just simply pull it off, connect the cable to the back here, and then to the back of the laser machine. Then we have your power cable, which you can plug directly into the back of the laser. These are universal plugs. They will work in any country. So they are childproof, which is gonna make it a little bit hard the first few times to push it in. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of force. Next, we are going to set up your air pump that comes with your laser machine. It does vibrate when it's on, so we suggest that you secure it to the floor or the wall when you are operating. Take your blue hose that comes in your toolbox, attach it to the front, and again to the port on the back of the laser machine. Have your power cable, again, a little bit of force if needed is totally fine. Now if you want to take it off, you push the blue ring and pull out the tube. Moving on to the installation of your included AC Infinity exhaust fan. There are many different ways to set it up. You will need to purchase your own ducting depending on your specific kind of application. For the sake of this video, we are going to show you how we set up our exhaust fan. You will notice on the exhaust fan that there are directional arrows. You need it to be pointing away from your laser. So you take your ducting, you hook it to the back of the machine, and then to the correct side of the fan. In our shop, for our specific application, we have our exhaust venting through the wall and up through the roof. So we have a metal pipe in the wall that connects to our ducting here and then connecting to the correct side of the exhaust fan. Okay, you will notice that there are two cables attached to your exhaust fan. One will connect to the speed control and the other is your power cable connecting to the port at the back of the laser. Now that your accessories are connected, we're moving to the final setup of your laser machine. You will notice the lid handle is going to be on the inside of the lid. You just need to remove the screws and attach it to the outside. Moving over to your working light, you can install it in whichever direction you please, moving forward or backward or side to side. And the side door here to protect your tube. Finally, you're ready to plug in your laser using the cable included in your yellow toolbox. Plug it in to the back of your machine. And then coming over to your wall outlet. So we do recommend using a 20 amp dedicated circuit to run all your accessories and your machine.